Thomas the Tank Engine rolling along. All of his friends will be coming along. One evening, Edward was peacefully chilling at Wellsworth Sheds, when all of a sudden, Rosie puffed in, feeling very cross indeed. Hello, Rosie. <laughs> um, Rosie? Is something wrong? Rosie? Rosie! Huh? Oh, sorry, Edward. Uh, <clears throat> uh so, Rosie, why are you acting so grumpy? <sighs> Listen, I don't need this right now, okay? Look, Rosie, I could tell something is up, and I don't know why. I need you to tell me so that I can do the best that I can to take away your problems. Well... I want to help you. Rosie looked over at the K2 class and thought about things for a moment. And then she knew what she had to do. Will you believe me when I will you this? Of course, Rosie. I'm your friend. Well, I was working at the quarry today, and I got freaking blamed for an accident that I didn't even cause! Whoa, really? Come on, tell me what happened. Well, alright. And this is the story that Rosie told him. Hey, you, Rosa Doza. Um, yes? You do realize you have to take these two stone trucks, an empty box van, and a fuel tanker to the docks, and then take the children back to their school from the field trip they just had, right? Um, yeah. Why? Well, you better do it right, because I'm getting old and can't stand it when things mess up. The only reason why I'm the current assistant quarry manager is that the old one retired, which is what I should be, but not until I get enough money to afford an apartment on the coast. But anyways, do it right or else. Damn, that guy is rude. How could he torment an engine like that? Especially to me. <sighs> That's just his personality. Gotta get used to it. Yeah, I guess. Anyways. When everything was ready, the guard blew the whistle, and she was off. But there was one minor problem. The teenagers inside the coach were getting a bit too rally up. They kept dancing along with the music in the coach so much, that the coach was biffing and banging against Rosie, pushing her towards a bent piece of track, unsafely. And then there was trouble. You! How could you do this to us? How could you be careless enough to speed over that broken piece of track? You were supposed to go slowly, and now we have a bigger problem to deal with thanks to you. But sir, it wasn't my- Not another word. You will help us with quarry cars for the rest of the day, and then tonight, you will stay at Wellsworth Sheds and help us with the work again in the morning to think about how stupid you are. What? Oh, dear. Now then, sir, I need to call Sir Topham Hat about this. Certainly. Good. I know you can be better than that piece of scrap over there. Rubbish. Oh, my. That's terrible. I know, right? So that's why I'm here. Because of a crime that I didn't even commit. Ugh, what an awful day this has been. Edward felt sorry for the poor tank engine. He hadn't been in the situation before, but could understand where she was coming from. Then, he had a very good idea. Well, I do thank you for making it through your struggles. What? What are you talking about? I mean, that you were helpful during an awful situation like that one. You were there to make things better for the quarry and were very helpful cleaning up the mess. And that 
is one of the reasons why Sir Topham Hatt would call you a really useful engine. Wow, you're right. I didn't know there was a way to think like that. I guess I should rethink problems and be there to fix them, even if they aren't mine and things don't go my way. Thanks, Edward. You're a good friend. No problem, Rosie. Now, I think we should get some sleep. We both have a busy day tomorrow. You're right. Good night, Edward. Thank you for everything. <sighs> I'll keep that advice in my phone from now on. <laughs> Excuse me, Rosie. <laughs> I just came here to say that Sir Tom had called to apologize for what happened today. Your name is officially cleared, the evil man's been fired, and everything is... Shh! She's sleeping. Huh? Oh, well, good night, Edward. Good night, sir. And good night, Rosie. You were a real team player. And with that, Rosie fell fast asleep, remembering Edward's words within her heart. Thomas the Tank Engine rolling along. All of his friends.